Well, I finally got to see Stranger Things Season 3. Oh, this season was horrible. Honestly, I really did not like this one, guys. The beginning was too front-loaded with relationship drama. We had two sets of characters. That was the will they or won't they get together thing. Spoiler alert, alert. Neither one of them do. Neither set does. We had Lucas's sister Erica, which was annoying, but tolerable in season two. In this season, oh, I have never hated a single character so much. I get what they were going for, her being sassy. It did not feel that way. She was the most obnoxious, irritating, ear grating, spoiled, rotten brat I have ever seen in any film or movie. Every time she opened her mouth, it was torture. It got to the point where after she started speaking, I would fast forward past it because I just couldn't take it anymore. Same thing with the relationship drama. After a certain point, when it started talking that, I would fast forward because I just didn't want to deal with it anymore. This series, when it started, had a strong horror vibe to it. Now it's pretty much an action movie, and the writing for a lot of the characters has gotten worse. Hopper, who in the previous two seasons had a good range to him, now he's either a complete jerk or an action hero. Those are his two modes. To the point where... Because he can't stand his daughter having a girlfriend, he even lies to Mike and says, your grandmother's sick to get her out of the house, and then he gives him an ultimatum and's like, you need to stay away from her. Like, even though I get where he's coming from, because yeah, they are spending too much time together and kids don't need to be kissing like that, but the way he handled it, it was a complete jerk. They even, every time it seems like they're going to go somewhere interesting, they sideline it like, Will, they had a scene where he's struggling with growing up and he throws a fit in the rain and it seems like that's going to build to something really good. And, oh, no, I can sense the evil's back. We have to work together. And it was forgotten. For that matter... Remember the mind flare in season two, how we seen it from the distance and it was like just made of, looked like it was made of smoke or something and it looked very mysterious and foreboding. Well, this season we get to see the mind flare up close and it looks like CG garbage. Like, the mind flare went from this mysterious, scary thing to the monster that breaks through walls and grabs you. Everything in this season was a step down. Remember how in season one, Mike felt like the leader of the group? And in season two, he was kind of pushed to the sideline? In a lot of ways, in season three, he feels like more of an afterthought. You like... The Dustin Steve Harrington mechanic and I mean dynamic in season two. Well, well, they stick them together a lot more in this season. And the new character Heather, when the three of them are together, it is entertaining and good. But when they start throwing Erica in the mix. Again, it's just too much, and then adding that character. This series at this point is juggling way too many characters. Even remember Max's brother, Billy, from season three? I mean, season two? He's completely wasted in season 
Three, in the beginning, he becomes a slave of a mind flare, and it seems like we get some stuff that's going to be character development for him. We get things about his past revealed, only for him to die at the end, rather than come back in season four and be a more well-rounded character. I guess we can only have one jerk turn likable guy, and that's Steve Harrington. Like... I was act thought it could have been a lot better had Billy survived and become something much better than he was in season four. Oh, and then the Russian side angle. There's a mall in Hawkins that's putting the town small businesses out. Well, apparently the mind was built by Russians, and they also built a secret underground lab underneath the mall they were in the mayor was in cahoots with them still how did they pull that off and no one noticed an unusual amount of excavation for a shopping mall it's good to see cocaine is still trendy in the writing room like the russian plot did not need to be there you could have written it out in the movie could have been all the better for it we still have at this point, Joyce, they didn't even know what to do with her. At the first one, my son's missing. The second one, there's something wrong and I need to get my son help. This season, magnets fell off my refrigerator. <sighs> even Eleven, I feel like, to a degree, was wasted. It's like everything, even the upside down, is too familiar and it's not scary anymore. And at the end of the series, they teased either a new Demogorgon or possibly the same Demogorgon. I don't know, but it was in Russia. And again, that whole Russia thing did not need to happen. It was completely stupid. Just like the whole side plot with Dustin having this girlfriend. And it pays off because there's a answer to a key code in the Russian base and he has to sing an 80s ballad with his girlfriend to get the answer Ugh, yeah this season just I wanted to like it I wanted to enjoy it. it even in the beginning there was even awkwardness where you have a lot of the mothers in town at the pool and they're all just there lusting over Billy, someone young enough to be their son, and Mike's mom almost has an affair with him, and it just, it was cringe. I could have done without that. They had some cool dynamic between Eleven and Max, but again, it's like every time this show for me took one step in the right direction, it took ten steps back. By the end, I just didn't care. And one of the interesting things they did, hinting Hopper might be dead, was shown he's still alive in the season four teaser. Like, at this point, why even be afraid for the main characters? Their plot armor is so thick, they're always going to come out of it controversial but i want to see something bold for season five when it ends because 11 opened the door to the upside down make it where her existence is keeping it possible to go back there so she has to sacrifice herself to seal the upside down once and for all. It would be mature, it would be bold and gutsy, and it's another thing. Yeah, she's a great actress, but I can only take so much of this girl screaming and crying. It's played out, it's cliche, and this actress just needs to stop doing it in everything she's in. Great, you can cry on the drop of a hat. That's a talent, but when you do it 50 million times in one episode... You know, it just, mm, what else you got? This season for me was just a complete mess. I loved season one. I loved season two, despite the fact that 
it was a downgrade from season one. And I just don't know what the... Mm, say, it's just kind of... I feel like the creative juices are running dry. Hopefully they can save it in season four. And oh yeah, um, another one. How just cartoonish some of the people are in this series series season like Nancy and Nancy's bosses her and Joyce's other son work at a blah, the newspaper and there's points where she'll bring the people how about this for a story and they just laugh at her and they're just cartoonish over the top sexist men just for that you know to get the woke points because she's the strong brave woman that's right and it was just too much and even stuff like the mind flare taking control of people and it took control of a lot of people in town you were like oh it would suspense is it gonna get one of their parents uh, they done nothing noteworthy with it and that's my, f it's like, okay, you have these cool concepts, but you don't do anything with them. They set up all the pieces for a great chain reaction. All someone had to do was push that first domino in about a quarter of the way through. After the domino was pushed, it's like they put their hand in front of the rest. No, that's enough. Stranger Things Season 3, I'll be nice to it and give it a D- minus instead of an F, but it was easily the worst season of the series. So, what are your thoughts? Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, over and out.